Bill Shorten, yet again, is putting some more hundreds of millions of dollars, nearly a billion dollars, on what he calls the spendometer or the spendometer. Uh, he thinks it's a joke. You saw him just the other night in the Central Coast laughing about uh, more millions of dollars on the spendometer. Well, we take government spending seriously. Government must live within its means. Uh, we have a health system, the best in the world, and we support it with more funding every year. Bulk billing is growing. Bulk billing is at its highest ever. Uh, the Labor Party's uh, claims to be uh, defending Medicare are, as usual, spurious. He has no way of paying for these additional expenditures, no way at all other than higher taxes. And he's yet to tell us what they will be. But at this stage, the black hole of unfunded promises keeps on getting deeper and darker. So no, so no change on medicines, Prime Minister? They're going to be paying more under you? The, the changes, the, the, the co-payments with respect to the pharmaceutical benefit scheme as set out, we, we are committed to. Yes, there's no change to that. But can I just say to you, if you look at the benefits of what we have done with pharmaceutical benefits, with medicines, because we have been able to manage the health budget well, we have been able to bring onto the pharmaceutical benefit schedule $3 billion worth of new medicines, including first country in the world to list on a pharmaceutical benefit schedule so that it becomes affordable the drug that treats melanoma, Herceptin and other drugs that treat breast cancer. You've seen just in the last week we are we're, we're paying for, sub subsidising, paying for in fact continuous glucose monitors for young people with type 1 diabetes. These are the new drugs and the new technologies we can afford if we manage our health budget sustainably and that's what we're doing and that's what we're delivering.